Well, likewise, if you're primarily concerned about the artists, uh, is it not true that uh, for many, many years we have had uh, ratings of, uh, of uh, movies uh, with uh, indications as to the sexual content of movies, and that has been as near as I can tell a voluntary action on the part of the actors in the movies and uh, the producers of the movie and the distributors. Uh, that seems to have well, worked reasonably well. What, what is wrong with that? Well, first of all, it, is, it replaced something that was far more restrictive, which was the Hayes office. And as far as that being voluntary, a per there are people who wish they did not have to rate their film. They still object to rating their films, but the reason the ratings go on is because if they're not rated, they won't get distributed or showed in theaters. So there is a little bit of pressure involved there. And but, but, but still, I, there is no stigma on the person. The government, the government does not require that. that uh, that's what I, the point I'm trying to make is, yeah. and uh, while I think these hearings uh, should not have been held if we're not considering legislation or regulations at this time, I emphasized earlier that they might follow. I simply want to say to you that I suspect that unless the industry, quote, cleans up their act, and I use that end quote word again, uh, there's likely to be legislation, and it seems to me that it would not be too far removed from reality or too offensive to anyone if you could follow the general guidelines, uh, right, wrong, or indifferent, that uh, are now in place with regard to the movie industry. Well, I would object to that. I think that, uh, first of all, I believe it was you who asked the question of uh, Mrs. Gore whether there was any other indication on the album as to the contents. And I would say that a buzzsaw blade between a guy's legs on the album cover is a good indication that it's not for little Johnny. I don't believe I answered that question, but the point that you've made is a good one because if that should not go to little mind, I think there should be at least some minimal activity uh, or attempt on the part of the producers and the distributors and indeed uh, possibly the performers to see that that does not get to that little mind. Mr. Chairman, thank you very much. Collins. Uh, Mr. Tapp, I apologize for coming back in late, but I'm just hearing the latter part of it. I, I hear that you say that perhaps we could print the words, and I think that's a good suggestion, but it is unfair to have it rated. Now, it's not considered unfair in the movie industry, and I want you to elaborate. I don't want to belabor you, but why is it unfair? I mean, it's, it's accurate, isn't it? I mean... Well, I don't know whether it is accurate because they sometimes have trouble deciding how a film gets to be an X or an R or whatever, and uh, you have two problems. One is the, the quantity of material, 325 films per year versus 25,000 four-minute songs per year, okay? You also have the problem that an album is a compilation of different types of cuts. If one song on the album is sexually explicit and all the rest of it sounds like Pat Boone, what do you get on the album? How are you going to rate it? You know, there are little technical difficulties here. And also you have the problem of having somebody in the position of deciding what's good, what's bad, what's talking about the devil, what's too violent, and, you know, and the rest of that stuff. But the point that I made before is that when you rate the album, you're rating the individual because he takes personal responsibility for the music, and in the movies, the actors who are performing in the movie, uh, it doesn't hurt them. Well, very good. I, uh, I think the actual printing of the uh, content itself is perhaps even better than reading. Let everyone else decide for themselves. I think you should leave it up to the parent because not all parents want to keep their children totally ignorant. Well, uh, what, yeah, you and I would differ on what's ignorance and educated. I can see that, but... Uh, no, I happen to think I, that I you're very educated. I can't it was there, and you see what they're buying, and mm -hmm. I think that would be a step in the right direction, but uh, Senator Exxon has pointed out uh, whereby the primary movers here in this particular regard are not looking for legislation or regulations. Uh, that's our function. And uh, to be perfectly candid with you, I would look for regulations, uh, some kind of uh, legislation if it could be constitutionally accomplished uh, unless of course we have these initiatives from the industry itself and I think your suggestion is a good one that they print those words that would go a long way to satisfying everyone's objections I all think. we have to do is find out how it's going to be paid for good enough thank you mr. chairman senator Hawkins yeah. Yeah. 
say you have four children? Yes. Pardon me? Four children. Four children. Have you ever purchased toys for those children? No, my wife does. Well, I might tell you that if you were to go in a toy store, which is very educational for fathers, by the way, it's not a maternal a responsibility to buy toys for children, that you may look on the box, and the box says this is suitable for five to seven years of age, or eight to 15, or 15 and above, to give you some guidance for a toy for a child. Do you object to that? In a way, I do, because that means that somebody in an office someplace is tell making a decision about how smart my child is. <laughs> I'd be interested to see what toys your kids ever had. Why would you be interested? Just as a point of interest in this. Uh, well, come on over to the house. I'll show them to you. <laughs> really? I, I might do that. <laughs> Have you ever made? Do you make a profit from uh, sales of rock records? Yes. So you do make a profit from yes. sales of rock records. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I think that statement tells the story to this committee. Thank you. Mr. Zappa, thank you very much for your testimony. Thank you. Next witness is John Denver. Uh, we haven't gotten much on this one. Hey, you've got a bell by the tail there, huh? We've had SDI Harris and mocked up the ECW bill. It's 1130 and you just get the third witness. No, you can hear me. Let it out.